this on, this on, this off. One, two, three, go. Well, all right, chums, welcome back to the workshop. Um, I've kind of cobbled together this contraption here to see uh, the next stage of testing for the vacuum former. Now, last time we find, found out that this um, air compressor pump works just great as a um, vacuum pump. So the purpose of this contraption is to see basically how far how fast we can fill this air compressor tank with negative pressure with a vacuum uh, at about at about one bar, and to see how fast we can actually empty the tank because we want to have pretty much as fast a cycle as possible. Like if it takes you know ten minutes to fill this tank, that's not going to work, and if this you know takes like maybe even 30 seconds or longer to empty that's not going to work either now i figured all this out in my head but basically we want a two-stage pump so basically the way that works is the first stage we're going to be filling the tank up with negative pressure and then when we release that vacuum the negative pressure through here this is where the uh, vacuum forming platen is going to be so we want the air to suck through here into the tank and then we want to, when the pressure is depleted we want to turn that off and have the vacuum still being drawn from the uh, vacuum pump. Sounds complicated because I don't really understand it but this bit at a time, figure stuff out, we'll get this to work. Now I think this might be a bit dangerous because I don't know if this PVC pipe is going to handle the negative pressure it's not designed for that but I've made it out of this because it's really cheap and cheap is good in my workshop so uh, I'm gonna wear the extra socks and Biscuit's gonna wear the safety glasses and we'll see how we go oh a bit more word on safety I've put this stomp plug which uh, turns anything it's attached to on or off just by Stomping on it. I think it's supposed to be a foot plug. I don't know. I don't even know how, how I ended up with this but It's a big red button that you press and stuff stops and starts so That's what I want to have as a safety button and I'll put that over here All right I want this to go somewhere down towards 25 inches of mercury um, I would like it to be somewhere around 30, which is one, it's negative one bar of pressure, but uh, this gauge doesn't read that high. So if I can get it down to 25, that is proof of concept. Okay, hold on to your nuts. Oh, didn't hit the stomp button, button hard enough, I think. Okay, I've got it to 25, it's actually holding, so my fantastical cheesy glue holds and um, Teflon tape things must be doing alright just in this, so this uh, seems to be proof of, proof of concept of both filling this tank up, that was seemed pretty rapid to me, um, definitely was it within a good cycle time, and we're still holding the pressure, so it's proving that this pipe is... I guess good enough for at least one cycle. Now next up I want to turn this tap and see how fast it actually empties. Hello on to your ears biscuit. Good puppy. Okay. That was pretty fast. Like five seconds or most. Hmm. Now, uh, I think in real use I'd want that pump to still be running when I, cir cir uh, when I turn that on and then as soon as this, when I hear it drop, I, I don't know if I'm going to hear it even with the pump is on, but maybe after a couple of seconds I want to be turning this off so that this should get vacuum draw still. I don't know, let's see if that works next. 
So that's closed, that's open, vacuum pump's on. Press on the stomp. Okay. Alright. This on? No. This on, this on, this on, this off. One, two, three, go. was an issue because the compressor was hard up against vacuum it uh, didn't want to start so maybe if I cycle the piston over we'll give it another go gosh need something better than this all right is that visible on camera looks good stomp on this on this off in three seconds later. This is going to be interesting. Need to make sure the piston is in a certain position to start. Okay. Yep, broke my vacuum gauge. Uh, I believe this is the successful test. This filled up fast enough, this emptied fast enough, we're able to hold the vacuum. I don't know if this is pulling enough vacuum in the second stage because my gauge is now broken, but my belief is that it is. So, on to the next step.